Hey everyone, Katie Freiling here, and I wanted to take a moment today to actually just have a little discussion with you and start a conversation about something that is uh, quite the buzzword these days. All right, there are a ton of people out there talking about affirmations and practicing affirmations, and um, with the secret um, that came out a couple years ago and the whole law of attraction phenomenon, um, there are, you know it's a pretty popular thing to talk about these days. But is there any truth or validity to affirmations? Um, I don't know about you, but when I first heard about affirmations, I was a tad bit skeptical. But the more that I research and delve into um, you know, studying quantum physics and neurophysiology and really the, the true nature of our existence, of who we are, the more I realize that, that affirmations is a real phenomenon. Okay, there is a deep, real power behind affirming what it is you want to create. But, with that said, I think that there's um, somewhat of a misperception, a misconception about what, um, how to really effectively practice affirmations. So in this video today, I want to share with you the truth about affirmations and the real effective way to actually practice them and then um, you know, the, the reason behind it. So let's say, for example, you have an affirmation and it's, um, I am happy, safe, and free. Okay, that's a beautiful affirmation, um, but let's say that you are thinking these thoughts of I am I'm happy, I am safe, I am free, but yet your body is not feeling that at all. Your body's feeling, you know, somewhat anxious or, um, you know, insecure or a little fearful or whatever it is. When, when there is a disconnection between what you're thinking and what you're feeling, your affirmation is going to be rendered powerless. Okay, so the only way to make affirmations actually work and to make them powerful is to not only think the thought, but to take the time to close your eyes and actually feel the feeling of what it feels like, um, whatever, whatever it is you are affirming. Okay, so um, it's, it's not enough to just think these thoughts, I am happy, I am safe, I am free. Um, it, you really have to embody it and feel it. Okay, so feel what it feels like to be so completely free, so completely happy and safe. All right, and when you do that, that is when you actually set into motion the power of intention, the power of affirmation. And the more you do that, the more you practice that, the more you practice feeling the actual feelings of what it is you're affirming, the more you're going to be able to create that and manifest it. So I've been reading a book uh, lately called Evolve Your Brain by Joe Dispenza. He's one of the speakers on What the Bleep Do We Know, which is one of my all-time favorite movies about quantum physics. Um, but he actually specializes in neurophysiology. And what I've learned from him is nothing short of remarkable. All right, so you've probably heard that we have our subconscious mind and our conscious mind. And we actually operate and live about 95% from our subconscious mind, from our habitual mind, and only about 5 to 10% from the conscious mind. All right, so we are actually being um, operated and lived by our subconscious mind, and, and most of the time we don't even know what that is that's driving us or, or um, causing us to act certain ways or do certain things. But what we can actually do with these affirmations is when you actually practice and rehearse the feeling of whatever it is you are affirming, you can actually move these thoughts and these feelings from your conscious to your subconscious. And that is where the real power is because that's when um, that, that affirmation can actually be integrated into um, the main powerhouse of our consciousness, which is the subconscious. So the more you rehearse and the more you practice, not just the thought, but the feeling associated with it, the more you will actually be able to move that, um, that feeling into your subconscious. Okay, this is really powerful stuff. When I found out about this, I was blown away because um, you know it, it is a true phenomenon. And trust me, just try it for a little while. Um, you know, practice your affirmations and really feel it, and and dedicate yourself to to trying this out for the next you know two weeks to thirty days. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you actually experience. Um, and you know, it's it's. I, I don't want to get into the whole laws of quantum physics and everything right now, but um, this really does happen. What you believe and what you feel and what you experience, the more you experience it, the more you are projecting that out to 
um, to the world, to the universe, and it's going to actually create exactly that. So practice, 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 and rehearse what it is you want to affirm. So focus on what you want, not what you don't want. All right, so don't put any attention on what you don't want. Put all of your intention on affirming what it is you want to affirm. And I know that many, many people have been healed of uh, terminal diseases and illnesses just by being able to rehearse and practice the feeling of what it feels like to be healthy. Right? So this is very, very powerful. I've already experienced some amazing things in my own life because of this. So I highly encourage you to check this out, try this out, let me know what you think, and I would love to hear from you right now. So um, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've um, heard about this before, if you have anything um, to add to this, if I missed anything, or if you disagree with me, or whatever it is. Just let me know what you think. I always love to hear from you. And um, have a wonderful, beautiful day, and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.